Hi everybody, I hope you had a great week. Let's just get into talking about some of the items from Shop My Stash last week. We'll just start right here on the bottom drawer here. We're going to keep it short and sweet this week um, because I've got some things I've got to do with my family today. And I'm going to keep in a lot of things from the prior weeks, including these Cover FX foundation and concealer. The reason is because I had used this sponge from Shop Miss A, and it's a microfiber sponge, and my foundation, it applied so horribly, so I'm going to give it another try and see if it's just a sponge or if this combination of products that I'm using is just not working well for me. So I'm going to keep in all my base products, including this Too Faced powder and the J1 Jelly Pack and these two Cover FX products here. So moving on to the next drawer here, I have in from last week this Too Faced blush and it was a really nice glowy blush and I'll put it back in my collection and I'll pull something else for this week. This Artist Couture powder in Cocoa Bling is gorgeous. I really loved it, especially for um, highlighting the inner corner and that's everything in the drawer from Shop, Shop My Stash last week. So we'll put that back. Moving on to this drawer here, I had quite a few glitters in that were complementary to the Norvina palette that I was testing. So we'll put all those back. You know, I love glitter, so I'm thinking I'm going to pull some Stila's this week. I um, have been using this Vamp Stamp which is really helpful to help outline your wing. And I'll put that back. I had this um, Rapture lip gloss in. I'm gonna keep that in for another week in addition to these Kylie lippies because I only got to use two of them. And everything else here stays in here fairly consistently. So moving on to the top of the organizer here. I had in these Tarte palettes. And the blush palette is really nice, and I, I really do enjoy it a lot. Nice variety of shades. I don't know if I've just outgrown this um, Tarte highlighting palette or not, but it was just okay, really. Nothing super impressive. And, of course, I really do love the Hourglass powders. So I'll put this back, and I will pull another. And... This Smashbox Centering Citrus Photo Finish Primer Water. It's just okay. I would not pay full price for it, I can tell you that. But it does the job. It's got a nice fine mist, but I don't know. There's something about it that's just not setting my makeup as well as I think the MAC does. So I have these Dose of Colors palettes in. That's the Pretty Cool and the Marvelous Mauve which I love this one. And these are very complimentary to the Norvina palette. So I've got this Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers and it's got a nice variety of shades in it and you can make it a little more glowy and mix and match these. So I really did like it. You know, you've even got nice um, options for a blush in here and a little bit of darker shades if you'd like to contour. So I like this. I'm just gonna put it back and pull something else this week. And this Marvina palette, I have to say, I I really like it, um, you know, for the mattes, but the shimmers are very unimpressive. But the variety of shades is nice, and if you can get it for a discount, you know, I think it's a nice palette, but honestly, I wouldn't pay full price for it. And now it's time to shop my stash. So I did go ahead and pull a few things that I wanted to use this week. And next week, we'll get back into actually showing you as I shop my sash. But I ordered the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, and it got here. So I had kind of pulled some things that I knew that I wanted to use this week. So we'll start with this Natasha Denona Sculpting Glow. And it's really just an all-in-one type palette. And it has creams, and it has powders. It's got contour bronzer and highlighter in it. And it's really um, a very nice palette. So... We'll just start right here. 
This is a highlighting cream. I don't really use it um, very often. And um, we'll just do a swatch right here for you so that you can see it. It's more so for um, highlighting those areas of the face that you want to bring forward more so than um, a highlighting cream in terms of what I would think a highlighting cream is. There's also this contour cream here. It's a very complimentary shade for me. Um, you know, I'm able to blend that out pretty easily. No real problems there. But you, you use this in the light areas that you want to bring the light to and these to the areas that you want to recede and it works out pretty well. There is a Face Glow Cream Shimmer and this seems more like a gloss to me. For the face, there's not a whole lot of color payoff, but it will bring like a wet sheen to the face and it feels like very glossy in my opinion. There is also a pressed powder here and in terms of, you know, bringing a little bit of color to the face is more so what that does for me. And you can see right there, you know, it's got some color to it. So I don't use that one very often. There is the contour sculpting powder and I do use this more so as like a bronzer and it's very buildable. As you can see, it's pretty complimentary with my skin tone. So I do like that. I like a buildable bronzer. And lastly, we have this All Over Glow Shimmer Powder. And you can see, I wouldn't use it all, all over the face, but I have used it as a highlighter on occasion. You can see it's got like a little bit of a shimmer to it. So that is the Sculpt and Glow Palette from Natasha Denona. Moving on to the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. I love that packaging. It's really beautiful. But it's the same concept. It has several um, of the creams and powders in it. Um, lots of variety here. I love how she has this little separator so that you don't mix your creams and your powders in the palette. And um, you know, it's a very nice palette. So let's see if we can get you some swatches here. And there's two varieties, the Daria and um, I think this one's called something to do with citrus. This one is, yes, yeah, Citrus 02. And it's called the Diamond and Blush Face Highlighting and Contour Palette. And let's just get you some swatches here. So starting up here at the top, that's a really pretty shade. It's a little dark for me, so, you know, I don't use it for what they recommend it for. But it calls it a Glow Cream Base. And in terms of a highlighter, I think the concept more so is that you would build that up. But it's too dark for me, like I said, so I don't use that for that purpose. But I have used it over a blush. And then next here, we have a really pretty cream blush. It's very nice. And then we have this Duo Glow. And you can see that's got like a little bit of a green shift to it. It can look a little intimidating, but once you blend it out on the skin, you know, it's very pretty. And then right here, we have a Diamond Powder which the concept on that would be to use it on top of this cream base if you wanted to amplify that. But you can see that the texture on that is very similar to the like Fenty How Many Carrots. Then we have a powder blush here. Let me see if I can build that up a little more. 
And I think the whole concept is if you want to build these on top of the creams, you can get a more amplified effect. So you can see it's got a little glow to it there. And then we have the Glow Extreme here. And you can see how glowy that is. And that would be another highlighter on a different skin tone. So for me, I mostly just stick to the blushes and this highlighter and this highlighter. They work for me pretty well. So we'll put that away. And then I picked up this Kaleidos palette. It's called the Futurism 5 Electric Turquoise. And I have their other three palettes. I find their pigmentation is really nice. I love their formula and I love their packaging. It's like super luxurious. So I'm looking forward to trying this. And I have the other one also and I'm thinking I might use it next week. So let's see here. Just so you can kind of see. Isn't that pretty? And it's magnetic packaging here. Just so you can see the whole thing. I think their packaging concept is really awesome and their shades, they pair together very well. So let's get you some swatches here. That orange looks really nice. Oh wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. And I would have probably never put that combination of colors together without this palette. So I love their uh, combinations of colors. And that green shimmer looks really pretty, which you can see right there. Wow, at that one. This sea foamy green shimmer is gorgeous. And I think that's going to be a good option for the week. I'm excited to try that one. And then I had these steel glitters and I pulled some of the ones that have more of a green shift. I thought they'd be complimentary with what we're doing this week. Sometimes I just get in the mood for greens. Has that ever happened to you guys? So let's see what we got here. I got a shimmer and glow in the shade Freedom. And with these, I just have to be careful because they do move the base. So I usually just kind of tap them on, but you can see how reflective that is. And then I pulled this one. It is in the shade Mint Myth. And it's one of the ones that's like got a color shift to it. Let's see here. It's got a nice sparkle to it. Well, they kind of look really similar when you look at them side by side, but they are both green, so I guess they would look similar. And then I also pulled a gold, and that's called Gold Goddess. And that's a glitter and glow. So this will be my sparkle for the week. And I use this one pretty frequently. There you go. They're pretty. I love those. So we'll add those to the top of the organizer. Here. Let me just wipe off these swatches. And um, I did pull an hourglass powder because that's really all I was going to 
need to replace this week as far as base products go. And um, I think I pulled dim white, but let me just look at it and make sure. Yeah, dim light. There we go. Adding that to the front of the organizer. And let's just take a moment to look at this Natasha Denona Metropolis palette packaging. It's beautiful. I love this color of the blue. See how that hits the light? It's just very pretty. And I haven't swatched this yet. I'm going to share this moment with you guys. So there we are. All the shades. I think those are so pretty. I'm really looking forward to trying it out. I, I pretty much have all her palettes. I can't think of one. Well, maybe one that I don't have. And I just really love her formula. So I pretty much will, you know, pick up everything that she launches. So let's get to swatching this guy. And there we go. Just so you can get a closer look at the shades there. And then as we swatch, I'll bring it a little closer for you. Let's just start with the top row. There you go. And that's the first four there. Yes, I can see a shift of green, so these do have shifts to them. Because that one looks like it was going to be more brown, but I definitely see the green coming through there. And they hit the light pretty nicely. And that one looks like it's almost got an orangey shift to it. Look at that. So, that's unexpected. And then we'll do the last three at the top row. Those mats feel nice and creamy. So there we go, that's the top row. What do we think about that? Those are very pretty. I like this green right here. I don't really have a green like that in my collection. Well, maybe in one of the melt palettes as I look at that. Or the Gemini. I'll have to bring those out this week and kind of take a look at that and see. So there we go. I am seeing a little bit of some shifts in there. Now this blue right here, I think that's what had me the most excited. You know, they always get us with those pops of color, don't they? Okay. Well, that is a pretty blue. Look at that. Not really catching shifts in those. And oh, that green feels really good. Wow. Very pretty. That is an intriguing color. 
Let's see what we get here. Oh, look at that green. It's like a forest green. I don't think I have a green like that in my collection either. I'm definitely going to have to break out the greens that I have and see what I think. Those are the last three shades in that row. Wow, at that blue. It's like a blue green. That is very beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Those two shades. All right, now we'll just swatch this bottom row here. Wow. They feel really nice. That green and that mustardy color. Wow. I don't know if I have colors like that either. What do we think about those colors? I think I'm really going to like this in the winter time for sure. And then I like that it's got a nice, what looks like shade of red in here. Yeah, right there. Almost like a rusty red color. And there we are. I have to say it's a very interesting color combination. And let's get a closer look at the palette here. And you can see there's not a whole lot of kick up. It performed really well for the swatches and I'm looking forward to seeing how it does this week. And I do have an active giveaway if you're interested and that is in Shop My Stash number 9 for details. And I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye!